Okay, so this is a non-inverting summing amplifier. And so I've drawn the circuit here, and we can see that we have three voltages as our inputs, VA, a VB, and VC, and we're using our givens and fines. <clears throat> um, so, um, so we're going to start with Milman's theorem. So we have Milman's theorem. And that states that <clears throat> at this point N right here, um, we have V... V sub n is equal to VA over RA plus VB over RB plus VC over RC all over 1 over RA plus 1 over RB plus 1 over RC. So in our case, um, because of our givens, we see that RA, RB, and RC are all equal to the same thing. So we're just going to call all of them R. So we're going to just say all of these are R. We're going to say that, let's see, this equals R. And I'm going to plug that back into my um, equation here. So I'm going to have um, 1 over R. I can factor out 1 over R from each of the terms, and I'm going to get VA plus VB plus VC. And on the bottom, I'm going to have, there's three of them, so I'm going to have three times one over R on the bottom. Then my one over R's cancel, and I'm left with VN. So V at the end point N is one third times VA plus VB plus VC. And so plugging that in, we're going to have VN is equal to um, our our voltages are 11 volts, 3 volts, and 6 volts, and I've put them over here on our uh, figure. So Vn is going to be one third of 11 plus 3 plus 6 volts, which is 20 over 3 volts, or 6.7 volts. Okay, so if um. If we have this spot right here, let's just change to red. If this is um, if this spot right here is that Vn is equal to this um, this V plus. So V plus then here is equal to 6.7 volts. And we know that because there's negative feedback that our V minus right here, so our V minus also equals 6.7 volts. Okay, and so that means that this point right here is 6.7 volts. So what we can do is we can use that to find the voltage drop across this R1. And so we can do that. Um, so we have V of R1 is equal to, let me switch back to black. And so V of R1, or I guess Ri, the way we have it written here, is equal to 6.7 volts. And if we want to find I in the um, in this branch, so we're going to call, change to red again, and we're going to, we know that this is ground, this side here is ground, and so if this is a positive 6.7 volts, then our note, we know our current is traveling this way. So we're going to call this I, and we're going to use the minus. And just because we're on the, the um, negative input side of the op amp. So that's why I'm going to call it minus. So I'm going to have I minus. Change back to black. Is equal to VRI over RI. And so that's going to be 6.7 volts divided by, looking up at our, Oops. And our input information, our VI, or our RI is 8K, so we're going to write 8K here. And so that I minus then is going to be 0 0.83 milliamps. 
Um, and we know that our VR2 then, <clears throat> if we know the current through R1, or Ri up here on the top, then we know that we can find the, um, the voltage drop across this RF because we can use the same current because our I into the inverting input here is zero. So we know the current is the same across um, through our I and our F. So we're going to have V of R F is equal to I minus times our F, which is equal to 0 0.83 milliamps times our F is uh, 25.125 kilo ohms. So then our VF is going to be equal to 20.9 volts. Okay, and, um, and so what we can do is then we can find V out from there because we know that um, at the position V minus, so right here, right here, we know this is 6.7, and now we can add the voltage drop across RF to get our V out. We know that current is traveling to the left, so current is traveling this way. So I know that my voltage at V out has to be larger than at um, V minus at this spot right here. So we know this is going to be more positive, so we're going to take 6.7 volts plus I times RF to find V out. So this is going to equal... So we're going to have V minus plus I times RF, or plus, plus the voltage drop across RF. So we're going to have 6.7 volts plus 20.9 volts, which is equal to 27.6 volts. So that's our voltage, um, our output voltage. So... Um, now we want to go and we want to check that. So we can check that value and we can do that by, so we'll call this a check. Uh, so we want to use the equation. So this is the, um, the summer equation, which means V out is equal to uh, 1 plus 1 plus RF over RI times V at N. And so V out is equal to 1 plus 25.125 over 8 K K and times Vn, which is 6.7 volts. And we multiply through, we get V out is again equal to 27, I think I calculate 27.7. So just from a rounding error, we have that like little difference. So we've got to check there. So that's great. So what we want to do now is we want to go back and we want to calculate um, voltage drops and currents for our circuits. So we're going to go back because we want to, although we've, we show, we've shown what um, our V out is, we still want to calculate what our current drops are across, um, across these resistors, RA, RB, and RC. And we want to prove that the current from each of these adds up to zero because remember here at this point, my I has to equal zero. So we want to see if that uh, works out. So what, we, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate, um, and we're also going to calculate the voltage drops across those resistors. So that's pretty easy. So let's say V uh, let's say V of A Let's do that. Let's call it V of R A, R sub A, is equal to V at N minus, well, so first let's think about this. Um, looking at my circuit, if I know that V N over here, if I know this V N, V N is equal to 6.7 volts, then I see here, right here, if VA is 11 volts and VN is 6.7 volts, then I know the current is going to flow this way. So this is going to be my IA is going to flow to the right. But on the next one for RB, my RB, this current's going to flow this way. 
because 6.7 volts is bigger than 3 volts. So this is going to be my R IB. And then my IC, 6.7 volts is bigger than 6 volts. So again, I'm going to have this IC is flowing this way. So that is starting to make sense. I have one current flowing to the right and then two currents flowing to the left. So that leads me to believe that I, there's a good chance that I will have a current that's equal to zero. So let's try that. So for RA, 11 volts is bigger than 6.7 volts. So that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to go back to black. And I'm going to do V at N, or V at A, minus V at N, is equal, oh, divided by RA. And that's equal to 11 volts minus 6.7 volts over 4.573 kilo ohms, which is equal to uh, 0 0.95 milliamps. I can do the same for RB. And RB, remember that v, it's VB is less than. So let's write VN. We're going to make each of these positive, but we know the directions because we looked at the difference. So this is going to be VN minus VB over RB. So we get um, 6.7 volts minus 3 volts over 4.573 kilo ohms. And that gives us 0 0.80 milliamps. Then V of RC, so the voltage across RC is again VN is greater than VC, so VN minus VC over RC is equal to 6.7 volts minus 6 volts over 4.573 volts, and that's equal to 0 0.14 milliamps. And we can see here, we know this one, these two are the same sign, so let's just say these are both a negative. And we add these together, and with rounding errors, right, we're right about 0 0.95. So that makes sense that that's working. Um, so we've actually calculated, sorry, we've actually calculated the current here it's not instead of voltage drops. But we can calculate the voltage drops from um, right from here, too. So we're going to say this is IA, IB, and IC. And this is going to be... Um, Four point, so this is going to be VA is equal to 4.3 volts and VB, so this is going to be go a little smaller here, VB is going to be equal to uh, 3 point, or uh, yeah, 3.7 volts and our VC is going to be 0 0.7 volts. Actually, this one is 4. No, 3. 3.7. Oh, that was right. OK, good. So um, we've got, looks like we have everything for that problem. We see that we have the, <clears throat> the correct value for um, we have the, the right direction for our currents. We have our voltage drops across the feedback and um, input resistors. And we have the voltage drops and the currents for the um, inputs. And we can see that um, not only did we get our, um, did we use the summer equation down here and we found it was 27.7, but we also were able to work through the voltages using really the voltage divider equation in Ohm's law.